clear. Yeah, but like, I, 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 I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, they also worked on a tour of the world. Yeah. Oh, I am Trin. I'm Trin Garitano. Uh, 
uh, you find me on Twitter, uh, Trinity Tonic, it's like a gin and tonic, but with a me in it. Um, okay. <laughs> and then, uh, I work at Kickstarter, I do gaming stuff, I have a podcast about friendship, um, it is the opposite of this panel. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about <laughs> jokes and comedy. So we kind of touched a little bit, of, we talked to Maya, talked to Tom, about how they got into this line of work, and honestly, every person on this panel has a different component of what it requires to make a business out of butt jokes. Um, so we've got uh, Adi, who took a very serious topic, which is like something very funny. We've got Maya Coleman, who is uh, communication and community. Um, we've got Tom, who's pranks and weird events and stuff. And we've got Rob, who's just kind of like a whole bag of weird, which is very weird. Yeah. 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 very <laughs> Hired by Bob. 
Michael Champion, Claire Friedman, um, which was really lucky for me. Uh, and then I um, really got lucky in the sense that I'm just someone who overcommits to every bit. Um, and that is really how I've kind of become the person who does pranks for cards. Uh, when I did customer service, I once uh, sent in, uh, a whole order of chicken nuggets to someone in Australia um, <laughs> from Papa John's, because Papa John's is the only place in Australia that delivers chicken nuggets. <laughs> Um, and since then, I've just like, we have this lucky opportunity at Cards where uh, we think of dumb jokes and then uh, the founders will come to me and be like, hey, you want to do this dumb thing? I'm like, great, I love it. I'm going to spend the next like several months making sure that this is perfect so that everyone can have some five minute experience uh, that I have spent millions of hours on. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's kind of like where I've gotten started. Um, and now I just know how to do Anything and find the answer, uh, especially if it comes to hot dogs. I've done over five hot dog nights. Yeah. Um, I, when you said uh, you commit to the bit, um, it reminded me of the time when we were at Pax Pace and you drove, was it two states over to get hot dogs? I, did, I drove from Boston to Rhode Island to get a hot dog cart, and then I bought every hot dog from every Shake Shack in the Boston area. I had to go to four different Shake Shacks to collect over 1,000 hot dogs so that we could give them away at a giant bottle. Flash animation series. 
Uh, so all of us were just trying to knock each other and learn like, how to do like 3D effects and like make them make like cool kung fu fights and make their heads explode just right. And um, yeah, there's this whole like competitive and collaborative atmosphere. We were all just kids like, making cartoons for fun. Um, and yeah, we kind of ended up meeting Dave there and then Matt and Chris. And Tom, I know that you've worked with like several of the other departments at Cards Against Humanity because like despite what people think, it's like an actual business. Yeah, there is. There's not just like a bunch of guys, and this is what everyone thinks is like getting high together in a room and then writing a bunch of cards and throwing them on the internet. I mean, sometimes that does happen, but it's not like every day. Yeah, technically we can't admit to that. Right. But, um, but like what it really comes down to day to day is uh, a lot of boring business that I don't think people really need to hear about. But it's like there's really, it is running the business of like people get happy, customer service happens and we need to fix that. Uh, and I'm like going through the logistics of like, oh my god, tax is happening. How do we make sure that we're like doing something funny in packs? And before we like come up with our funny idea, we have to go through all of the basic lists of like, okay, we're paying these people for doing this. Uh, we basically have to spend like a month making sure that nothing's going to go wrong at packs. And then you could be like, right now we can do a dumb joke here since everything is done. Um, so uh, I would like to bring up my favorite person in the world. Jen Bain, uh, community manager of Cards Against Humanity. How do you collaborate uh, with her team? Because I know that they react more to the public than you guys do. Yeah, I think what we really do a great job of is, so with what we're doing on events, uh, we try to make sure that we understand what customer service is dealt with at Cards. So like when we're uh, releasing new packs, like last week we re released something called the Absurd Box. Um, and that's something that uh, they deal with a lot. It's got a lot of new cards in it. They're all just like uh, a completely uh, disconnected sense of humor, different than what we've done before, and that's kind of what they've been focusing on recently. So they tell before I came to packs, I like checked in with them. Hey, so what are people like noticing about this pack? Like, has anyone had any problems? Like, is someone gonna find me at the convention and be like, hey, uh, all of these cards aren't funny, and there's like a bug stuck in between them? Like, oh, that did happen. Though. Yeah, that did happen. Which is why, not with this pack, but in the past we've had like bugs and cards and things like that. And it's just a connection of like literal bugs, like literal insects. Accidentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they get stuck in the thing and then smooshed and then they mail the cards to you and you frame them. Uh Claire. Claire again. Yeah Claire! Yeah. Like, I'm not Scrum Ben, that's just dumb. 
But like as far as being like the Facebook events where they're like you could you could get two and then burn eight one of them, like that kind of stuff is like just throw burn an eight in like every two seconds. <laughs> Are you still able, and I'd like to ask this everybody here, 
so many years working in comedy and games. How about you? Is it possible for you to sit down and be like, yes, I like this and I am not picking it apart? I do still, I, I still like enjoy comedy, but there is an element of jealousy now when I love something that's really funny. Part of me is like, damn, I, I wish I had thought of that. That's, that's perfect. Um, yeah, I, I still do enjoy it. Are you inspired by the things that you watch, or like, do you try not to be inspired so that you know that you're just to be? Um, these days, I mean, I just, one of the side effects of running the company is like, we hire a lot of people who are really funny. People who are like more talented than us at animation and, and directing business. And um, as, a, like, as a side effect, like, of that, a lot of our, like, a lot of our day-to-day -day is just sharing, like, cool things going on. Like, have you seen this? Have you seen that? And I've been exposed to a lot of stuff that I don't think I would have watched otherwise. Uh, it's definitely, I definitely feel like my like, comedy horizons have been brought in for sure. So I'm going to open up to questions in just a minute. And if you'd like to ask a question, what I'm going to have you do is um, line up my Captain America shirt over here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and I'm going to ask one more question to the panel, and then we'll get to you over there. So take your time. Think about what you want to say. Think about uh, how you want to ask it and the tone in which you will say it. All right, everybody? Simple. OK, so. Uh,
pick all of the wonderful items that we sold. Uh, for anyone who's not aware, uh, Cards Against Humanity recently had a Black Friday sale where we sold things at 99% off. Uh, we sold a car for $100. Uh, we sold a $20 bill for $0.20, cents, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, we had things like a French toilet throne uh, that played a little song when you pooped. Uh, we had a 44-inch disco ball. And this is the type of thing that specifically I didn't have a lot of involvement with, sadly, but our uh, wonderful design team uh, and our wonderful community and customer service team, like the wonderful Jen Bain and Maria Ranahan, um, did a fantastic job creating that. Uh, and you should all go thank them. Oh. Uh, follow up question, because I've been getting this on the internet. Yes. Was that real? Are you really? Yeah, so and all of those things. So the solid shit. gold dildo. Someone is getting a for five dollars. Yeah, you can go check. There, there's people who have already received some items in the mail. Uh, they're posting online, so there's proof. We're not just swindling y'all. Uh, like it's people have won these things, and there are certain people who have won certain objects that are going to ruin their lives. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your question. Before my question, thank you. Everything you do is amazing. Yeah. Uh, all your products. My only question is, Mr. Bank, can I have your <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, after the panel. Oh, okay. So if anybody else has that question, um, we'll all hang up for a little while. I think I think have a marker that they can all borrow. It'll be okay. Hi. Um, just have a question. Does anyone have a line of sand, like anything in their body, there's a line they want to cross? Um, do you want to start, uh, Rob? Sure, I get that question a lot, and it's, it, we, when we're writing, um, teenagers often consider, like, the, the edgy comic, like, you guys try so hard to be offensive, so it's, it's so edgy word. but we never try to be offensive, we just are offensive, we try to be funny, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's our, line, our line of the stand is, is this funny or not, and, um, and if it, like, oftentimes we do cross that line of accident and put something up that's funny only to us, like, it's kind of the downside of not having editors and newspapers and syndicates, there's no one to tell you that your comic sucks, just click a button because of, but yeah. As far as like going too far, um, not really. We, just, we all have kind of our own senses of decency. We can joke, so we're not really trying to offend anyone anyway. We're just we're just trying to. Be fine. Yeah. I know with cards against humanity, that's certainly a thing that we've dealt with. I know uh, early on in the company, I think we definitely uh, have hit a certain line, and I know some people have like thought of us specifically as that game of like the game where you can see anything. Um, but as we've grown, what we've really tried to do is make sure that we're always punching up with our cards. Um, so if you actually like read the text of cards, uh, there's nothing that we're doing to like punch down on groups. We're trying to like lift everybody up, uh, except for white men because we're on top. Like we can go down back. Um, <laughs> but like so that aside from them, like we always want to be punching people up and making sure that the cards are like reflecting. Uh, like this is funny because it's so fucked up, and we need to like make note of this. Um, and so that's kind of our general rule is that we want to make sure when we're writing things and like when we're doing stunts that we are making sure, uh, even if it's something that's a little like, uh, your mother might not like it, um, it's something that is always like lifting people up. Uh, and when we get close to a line, we always think like, it's got to be at least like three, four times as funny as it is offensive uh, to balance that out. Like, it's got to be super, super fucking funny if you're going to do something that's even potentially, uh, I have well, a quick follow-up question. Go ahead. I, I was thinking, well, now you also have to benefit. So, so we joking as we're aware because we really fucked up on this and it's the user's fault. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the thing that people blame us. And it's like, you guys made the combinations. Like, these cards aren't bad. You put them together in that way. That's important. And, like, and if it's not funny, you're not going to win the game. Exactly. Like, and if you think that this, like, racist, sexist, homophobic thing is funny, then the, you and your group are bad and I don't want to play with you and I don't want to play my game. Like, Cards goes through and, and edits the cards every now and again. Um, what does that process look like, and what kind of stuff do we take out? I think uh, it's something that kind of just happens uh, once a year. Our writers and our um, creators will meet, and they'll kind of like look at all of our decks and be like, "Okay, first of all, what are the things that just aren't relevant anymore? Like Dick Cheney was a funny joke. Now it's not funny. Um, I mean, it, Dick Cheney is still pretty funny, and maybe now with the movie coming out, we can put it back in. Um, but like." It's like a lot of political references, like pop culture references, and then we go back and look at things and just realize like this was written uh, from a perspective when we were uh, like less aware of certain things, and we've gone back and seen cards like, oh, this was a joke that we thought was funny at the time, and we look at it now and we're embarrassed by it, and that's something that we just want to take out, and we don't want to like shy away from the fact that that was a joke that we made, uh, but we do want to like 
say that that's not who we are anymore, that's not a joke we support anymore, and we're just going to take it out because it's not fun. Um, and Rob, do you ever, um, do you just leave your shame up on the internet, or uh, do you edit it, and do you feel shame? I have actually edited my comics. Um, like, I've gone back to the previous comics and with a better ending and swapped it out without telling anybody. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. Yeah. so, yeah, it's one, one thing that the internet made in the last that print's not changing shit later. Next question. Well, I just want to thank you for this amazing collection that you gave me. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there. I was probably on my word when I had that If you can't see, uh, a gentleman is uh, being shat upon uh, by a sharpie drawn anus. Uh, dick and balls in his bowl. Was that your question? Uh, I was say, um, if I were to move, like, say, tonight or tomorrow for a signing, would you be able to move? Yes, I'll add, I'll add to it. Awesome. <laughs> I'll turn it into Dick Cheney. Try to get as many contacts as you can that are involved in something that you find interesting. 
or if they just seem cool, even if it's not that interesting, talk to them too. Because sometimes it's just good if you're just in like a flowing environment with people who you mesh well with, and I feel like that can help you regardless of what topic you're doing. Like as long as you are in a healthy environment with people, anything becomes fun. To be honest, you be genuine about it. Don't like kiss people's ass. Just like yeah. sit there and be like, if, if I don't like this, like that's fine. They can be polite, but like. Don't be blowing smoke up anyone. Just be like, this is something that's really cool. And like, try to make honest connections. Like, you're making a friend. It's just a friend that's a business friend. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to, to add to that because I was English major, which I think nobody does anymore. Um, what? Yeah. Me. Yeah. You should have. Yeah, I, I 
just, that's fine. <laughs> they, they, they smell bad. Um, I mean, your parents don't want you to talk about it. Right, yeah, it's taboo. Yeah. Everyone has one. Yeah. 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 Unless yeah. something horrible happens. Right. <laughs> Butts can be sexual, and I think that the fact that like you can both find the jokes and like taking that away from them, and some people lean into that, and I don't know why, but I think that that can to an amalgam of like everything leads towards butts. Makes sense. Like everything. I a lot of things going on. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, do you have any uh, MBA student? Do you have any more questions about business and butts? <laughs>
Uh, she also plays with these editions a bunch, but mostly she just loves Matt's art, so she shares, like, she's an academic, so she shares his art to, like, all of her, like, graphic design professors, and, like, has this huge fan club for Matt specifically. But she's also proud of me, because we both thought I was going to be a film composer. 